Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 8 of Let's Play Proper Portugal. So I remembered that uh, I was waiting for Rio de Oro to come, to become Cord, so that I could do the Earth Rampart mission. I forgot all about it actually for a little bit. So we need to do that, and uh, where we're at now is um, we're hoping that this province here gets an attacker and just kills off the settlement so I don't have to pay for it. But man, look at that, 78 per year. On a province with no settler, 88 over here. I mean, these things are gonna, they're gonna grow on their own in like 10 years. And we could even boost it even higher if we get that colonial uh, excitement or whatever it is thing, which can happen just from exploring. And there's also a mission to colonize the Caribbean, so hopefully we'll be able to get that soon. Legitimacy is going up. I like that. We could do another like a royal marriage maybe, in order to boost our legitimacy even further. Let's check that out. We've got a royal marriage with Castile. Can we get a royal marriage with England? Yeah, sounds good. Our legitimacy will change by two. Inferior prestige and legitimacy. Well, that's interesting. France will do a royal marriage as well. Let's do that. In fact, I should probably do a couple. Let's just do all of them, sure. We won't ally with an ally with any of them, but we'll do a bunch of royal marriages. It's a short-term loss in reputation, long-term gain. I, I think. Pretty sure. Sound is still being kind of kind of weird. So we just did France and England. Let's do Aragon as well. Lots oh, of royal marriages, yay! Of course they haven't attacked yet. I guess I shouldn't complain. I mean, we're hemorrhaging money. <laughs> Not really. Not compared to the last time we played. But um, that's with full army maintenance to protect. And no fleet maintenance. Which is fine. We do have um, at least one province that needs to get converted. And there are revolts possible in Kaor, which uh, we knew would happen. Have I not cored Kaor yet? Let's core it. Occasional hostilities would erupt between opposing military schools. Either way, we lose stability. That's not cool. We could gain 25% increased land force limits, though. Or more morale. Well, we're kind of low on manpower at the moment, so I'd rather have the defense. See how it didn't make any sound? There's no... No sound for the little clash of the symbols. We have received reports from our colonial traders that Sierra... In Sierra that the land is very fertile and would be extremely good for sugar plantations. Nice. Current price is 361. Wow. That's a lot. So, can we already um, start start to collect here, maybe? That might be good. Probably not as good as what we're doing up there, though. Although, you know, I think I will. Let's, um, just so I don't forget, because we're going to get a bunch of Brazilian trade. So we're going to collect from trade here with the guy that's in Genoa. And then we're going to take the ships that we're patrolling in Genoa and have them patrol Sevilla. Sevilla. I think that just makes sense. If you can hear any talking in the background, I apologize. It shouldn't be audible, but it is. Noisy neighbors. Where is my sound? <laughs> Game options. Audio. Sound effects, come on. Like, there's like none at all. There we go. Some of them work. There's normally a sound when you open the religion tab. Oh, I give up. I don't know. It's weird. Very strange. Gotta keep that manpower up. So we don't have any peasant wars. I don't get it, though. The, the ferocity here is not nearly what I expected it would be. I mean, that one province is costing four... Actually, it's 
Interesting. So it is plus 100%. Isn't it? It should have been... Itamaraka should have been, I think... Isn't Itamaraka a, a one income province? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I still want it to go away. And we need new mission. Come on. No. Fortify Kaor. Fine. Except we're coring that right now. No. We'll just have to wait. I love how the sound effects are just totally gone. They'll inexplicably come back. You'd think I have the game like halfway muted right now. Naval force limit. I think I'm going to build one more cog. That's very strange for me, I know, but I, uh, I felt like I was having difficulty actually moving enough troops around in the last couple little battles. I'm managing that. There's the revolt risk. Almost have the cannon. Filthy pirates. I guess we should take care of that. Oops, you are supposed to be in Sevilla. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these ships, and we're going to go blow up the pirates. And then a little trick someone taught me, which is really nice, is you take a single bark. You have these go back to Sevilla. And then you take the other bark, and you have him patrol the Brazil trade route. Now, on his own, he wouldn't be able to fight off pirates. But as long as he's patrolling and guarding the trade node, none of them will spawn. So he'll be fine. Even with no morale, we should be able to take it just fine. Trading in sugar. It's really annoying not having sound. Doesn't the game feel totally different? It feels totally different to me. I'm going to continue to complain about it. That's just something I do. I complain a lot. About all kinds of things. Interface, sound. One thing that's really driving me crazy personally, which I hate, I hesitate to point out because I don't want to draw attention to it because it might annoy people, is that I still don't have a, um, I was not able to get a, what's it called? Pop filter or a, um, what's it called? Uh, it's called a pop filter for the most part. And then there's like a thing that goes over the microphone head as well. But there's like a harsh S. My S's. S's. They're very sharp. And I need to fix that because it shows up in the audio and I hate it. I'll see it. So that's part of our peasant's blood or something. That's good. Oh, good. Yes, yes. That's important. So we've cored it. That means we can go further away now. Um, it'd be nice if we could actually reach the Caribbean. We can't. Are there any ideas that are going to increase range? 25%. We need two more national ideas to get this. That's not going to happen for a while. So, we'll just have to settle for this one. Well, shall we do it? Shall we take on a fifth colony? That's what all that money's for. One of the colonies is going to finish eventually. Mm. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm tempted to do it because I want to see what the cost is for the fifth colony. But at the same time, I just don't think that it's wise. And actually, since things are fa fairly stable, I'm almost considering protecting Traza. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and protect Traza. Here, why don't you guys combine since you're doing the same thing. So in that case, go there. It's like the sound is completely gone. Oh, naturally, as I... As I put my men there, they arrive. You hear that? Hey, a gun fired. Weird. Hey, sound effects. Weird. <laughs> what are these strange noises coming out of my headphones? Uh, new mission. Fortify Kaor. Kaor is 60% cord. See, the game is so much more lively with sound effects. And we'll go down to Kaor. Uh, 
and we're going to colonize like crazy. Look at that colonist, 164 people per year. He's a baller. I do think as soon as he's done there, though, I'm going to stay on four and go up there. Because we need to, to continue going northward. The natives lose ferocity. Lovely. Why on earth does it give me the mission to become Papal Controller when there's like no chance that I can even get enough Papal influence to, um, to actually do anything? This is so buggy. It says that I'm allowed to have up to 58.15, and yet I, I'm i gaining 11.63, but I, I've never actually gotten up to 58.15. It's like there's a... As you get close, you actually hit a cap before the cap. Sugar in Rio Grande. Nice. Sugar is very good. That was, uh... Yeah, we had sugar here, and it's trading pretty well. Okay, during a recent jousting tournament, an unheralded commoner surprised all in attendance by besting everyone who faced him until he was declared the champion. Now we have an awkward decision of what to do with him. Gain general with 100 tradition. Wow. Or, tighten the rules to make sure that doesn't happen again. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, well, our prestige is going to rebound because we've got that supporting the Florentine school thing. Legitimacy, though, 50 is like the break-even. 50 is kind of like zero for prestige is. It's like y you don't want to go below 50. But 100 tradition. Wow, that would be crazy. Tons of morale. I would assume that if 39.8 army tradition gives 0.2 morale, that 100 tradition should give 0.5. I'm going to just use the event to, to get my legitimacy up. I'd rather have that higher. That lowers revolt risk, increases tolerance, increases diplomatic reputation. It's just important. Alright, colony. Let's hear it. Let's see it. 53% chance. So on the month, you can actually like watch it happen. Let's watch it. So we can calculate exactly what it's going to do. Ready? So 88 per year divided by 12 is how much it's going to grow next month. But then, if, we, if the colonist does it, it'll grow even more. Ready? August 29th. See, the colonist did not roll his whatever 53% chance there. Okay, I think we're going to do the K.O.R. thing soon. Maybe. Okay, good. Self-sustaining. More sugar. Core that. Still don't have a mission to, to do anything out there. So we'll colonize up here. Yeah, we can send him right now. We already did, didn't I? And we'll just relocate those troops to that colony up there. This is a much, much better way to expand. I can't believe I just, like, ignored my cities before. My expansions. Sound effects are still kind of dodgy. Colonist. Colonist? Oh, I must not have sent him. Thought I did. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take Fortify Kaor. And then we'll fortify it right away. Mm, we're actually making money, surprisingly. A little bit of attrition while we wait for that colony to come. I'm not going to land them yet because then they might have to fight. Um, they might have to fight right now, and I'd rather wait till the colony is there and then just settle, like dock it. So come on in, boys. Fifty days. So we're doing a lot better. We've got twenty gold a month, roughly, in income. 
Uh, trade income could be better, but it will it'll grow. Fifteen days on the colonist. Okay, there we go. So now dock. And that way we don't have to worry about fighting the, uh, you know, being out in the middle of nowhere natives that spawn. And uh, that's good. So that one will help us jump over to here. And get our artillery going. Does everyone, anyone else know about this yet? One of our neighbors does. Military tactics. I, gotta, I love it. Let's take it. And if we have any force limit available, I'd probably like to make a little bit of artillery. Although we're not really attacking very many people. Do we still have a truce with you? Uh, looks like no. No truces with Mali. So in that case, uh, we could declare a no cast a spell I war, or we could fabricate a claim on them so we can take their, take their money again. I want to take Gabu. Do I? Or, or Wolof? I would say the ivory. Gabu. Okay, that's a couple years down the road, but we'll attack Mali again. How much money do they have? 878 gold. Sounds like phase two needs to start. Okay, and uh, what are we spending on colonial maintenance? Not bad. Suriname is still at 2.66. I love the music in this game. It's really great. I get it stuck in my head when I'm sleeping now. I like wake up in the morning and be humming it. That's kind of weird, isn't it? I know. So as this thing continues to get built up, we'll start gathering more and more money. More and more gold from it. I don't want to export any of it down here because we have like no control down there yet. But we are getting some control out of the Mauritanian thing. We're generating some more wealth from here. That's nice. That's all getting exported into Sevilla. Up to 10.3 actually. Twice as much as Genoa. We can no longer claim that they own... That's fine. We don't want to attack them anyway. But we do want to improve relations. Some of the local natives have been assimilated into Rio Grande. Rio Grande is there. That's awesome. Overseas territories are notoriously too hard to police. Nope, we'll take the inflation. And grain. Yeah, I, I don't really care that much about inflation. As long as we don't go above 25%, uh, we gain zero manpower. Nice. Come on, give me give me a good one. I don't think that's a very good one. Give me the one that gives me the global settler increase plus the 5% settler chance. That's what I want. That would be awesome. Proper Portugal. We're running out of money. We need to attack the, Ma the uh, Mali people again. That's all your money. I want your money, not your life. Come on. Give me money. Money, money, money. Look at that. They're at level one tech. This time will be a breeze. We'll be able to just go with like one, one of these stacks. Because I've upgraded my military tech, I think, twice since the last time. We gained a bunch of tactics. We're actually at 1.25. And I think they were at like 0.75. Or 0.5, maybe? I don't remember. However, we have slipped into 8th place, which I don't like. Our focus on mercantilism is making life hard for our merchants. That's fine, we'll just have them come home and then we'll send them back out. We have a little bit of administrative power. Ooh, we could even unlock that second idea group. Which would be awesome. Since we're not spending any administrative power coring really expensive Moroccan pol uh, counties, provinces, that is good. Okay, so go collect from trade again. And this has been a very quiet video without having any of the 
other sound effects in the game. There's our Casa Spella against Mali. Let's check a couple things real quick. I want to check. Look at that. Scotland is beating England. That is so weird. Okay, idea groups. Naval ideas, not an expansion. You took naval ideas. France took. Economic ideas, good. Castile took. Religious ideas, perfect. Aragon? Religious, no one wants to expand. Trade and Algiers? Doesn't even have any ideas. Sweet. No one's even trying to expand. I love it. Okay, let's take a break here. Um, actually, before I forget, let's declare war on Aragon. Or, sorry, Mali. Uh, we'll bring you home from Toledo since it's just a couple days away. And, uh... Hmm. Actually, I need to leave these men here to protect against the revolts. Actually, there are no revolts in Kaor anymore. So, perfect. Okay, declare war. We want to take Gabu. And we want to go there. And that's where we're going to leave it. So we're going to take, we're going to rob them blind, use it to continue to fund our expansion, and go from there. Thanks for watching. See you soon.